Please, Mina, you have the floor. Mr. President, Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, we have a problem. A water crisis. It's urgent and it's threatening our communities, our societies, and our economies. I've seen it, and I want the world to see it too. Over the last six years, I've run thousands of kilometers across some of the harshest places in the world, deserts like the Atacama and Antarctica, and rivers like the Amazon, the Nile, and just now the Amu Darya, amidst the beauty of Tajikistan. I run to raise awareness of the water crisis, to show the urgency of the problem that we are facing, and ultimately to drive action from people like you. Along the way, I've met hundreds of people who have shared their water stories, women and girls in India, risking their lives each day to fetch water for their families. Kids in Ghana using their bare hands to dig the dirt in search of groundwater. Young farmers in South Africa who were so despairing of the lack of rain that they told me, Mina, what hope do I have? To pray for rain or to leave my farm? The impact of our water crisis is clear. A few weeks ago, I ran across the Aral Sea. What I saw broke my heart. The death of a mighty river. Carcasses of fishing boats stranded in the desert sands. Communities struggling to rebuild and too many questions about why, despite all the signs, we failed to act. This isn't just a problem for farmers and for remote communities, it's a problem for all of us. And it's a problem that's getting much, much worse. Climbing high up into the mountains of the Pamir, I saw streams of water flowing out of the bottom of glaciers and bridges and roads washed away by floodwaters that are coming earlier and more destructively. The message is clear. We have no time to waste. We need to act and we need to do it now. As one of the local guides said to me when we were climbing up into the glaciers, Mina, please tell these people directly. Look around you. The time for soft language is over. We need real action and we need it now. He's not alone. Over the last few years, we have grown a grassroots movement of people for change. Thousands and thousands of people in over 197 countries around the world, literally stepping up for water, sharing their stories and helping to put water into the media and onto the global agenda. Tajikistan is part of this movement of people. The mums, the dads, the kids who welcomed us into each town when we ran through. This movement has inspired me to go bigger and bolder, to do whatever it takes to close the gap on SDG 6. Right now, I've run 40 marathons out of the 200 I've committed to run this year in the lead up to the UN 2023 summit. To be honest with you, it's one of the hardest things I have ever done. But big goals need us to be prepared to do hard things. Like running ridiculous numbers of marathons at the front lines of the water crisis in some of the most extreme places on the planet. Or committing to concrete action on water. So here is my challenge to all of you in this room. Thanks to the leadership of the President of Tajikistan, we have an opportunity right here in Dushanbe 
to step up to the water challenge, to reach across traditional boundaries, to turn away from failing past practices and vested interests, and to make concrete commitments that change the lives of millions. We have no other choice, no option to look away. There can be no excuses. Our actions today have consequences for tomorrow. From the people of the world, as we move towards next year's UN 2023 Water Summit, co-hosted by Tajikistan and the Netherlands, this is your moment. Make it count. Run blue. Thank you very much.